Wow, Apple is really, really targeting to fix many bugs in iOS 11, so they're dedicated. Hopefully, with this new software today, 11.0.3, we get new battery improvements. Definitely targeting two specific bugs, especially on iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. You may remember that touch disease or touch issue with that device. Apple actually kept signing 10.33 for those who were running iOS 11 on an iPhone 6S only in order to downgrade because the device would not recognize touch inputs if you didn't get your device serviced by an Apple retail store to fix the touch disease issue. So it definitely targets that issue. I'm going to be testing that to see if it fixes. And it's also targeting iPhone 7 and 7 Plus haptic feedback that has some issues when you update it to 11.02 or 11.01. .01, and also some of the sounds wouldn't play properly. So if you want to update, you can go ahead and do so because Apple did not release any betas by going to general software updates. And you'll get prompted to update to iOS 11.0.2. .3. I'm getting uh, iOS 11.2 beta because I've downgraded this device. So the build number for iOS 11.0.3 0.3 is going to be 15A432. It's going to be the latest build number for this software. Now the download was relatively small, 285 megabytes depending on the device that you're upgrading and what software you're upgrading from. No new features have been added. If we go through some of the wallpapers here, there's nothing in terms of new wallpapers. If we go over to the uh, display accommodations options, I know you guys always ask about this smart invert. We still have of the software demonstrating the same effects as before nothing has been improved there either I'd just like to go ahead and share those with you guys nothing specifically new with this software in terms of features just minor under the hood and bug fixes as we're used to with a zero point update just a small update now, if you watch my video on ios 11.1 beta 2 you might be wondering did apple bring the 3d touch multitasking gesture to 11.03 before releasing it with 11.1 nope that's not the case it's not here yet it's going to be available on 11.1 i'm sure a lot of you guys will probably be curious to know if apple did release it or bring it to 11.03 but no 11.1 it's going to be the software that's going to be bringing that to 3d touch devices that about brings it into the video i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace